first day is the most demanding, both distance and challenge-wise. Uphill trails, hard winds, and a layer of fresh snow challenge not only their mental and physical strength, but also their mushing skills behind the sled. Yes, it's great. Right now I have to stand on the left foot all the time because otherwise the sledge will go too far to the right. Beautiful. This is, and we're on the top of the world. This is just the most beautiful thing and these dogs are great and it's so quiet. It was good, and then after I think half an hour, suddenly a lot of snow and very windy. You couldn't see a lot, you just see two people in front of you, and that was it. You couldn't see the mountains, it was, but it was a really good feeling. In uh, Belgium, where I live, uh, such a weather doesn't exist. I was thinking about you, this cold wind. And, yeah. I, uh, yes, I, I was cold to I got this on. And I was I'm, taking a moment of thought. I'm, 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 not, I'm not taking this off to get back to the hotel. <laughs> Hunden vi brukar till att det här här uppe norr det är Alaskan husky så då kan vi säkert se vi ska se på hunden att de är lite forskjälliga så. Fälles för alla det att de 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 ska klara av vara här ute i fjällen för de har en ett dubbelt lag med med päls en underpäls och en, en överpäls. Det här är den sladden som eh deltagarna brukar. den är gjort ut av björk och den det Den ska vara tålig och tålig lite grann. Eh, vi har med där ute som heter fött plast och under en plastplata. När vi lär upp våra deltagare så är detta här det absolut viktigaste vi lär dem att bruka. Här har vi en metallbrems som vi kan stoppa spannet med när vi lägger tryck på här. Så har vi en mattebrems som vi kan justera farten med. Här ska alltid vara stram. Och hunden den, den, den balanserar på det trycket som ligger här. Det det när man kompisar och drar oss över hela fjället det minst vi kan göra det sörja för att alltid det här är tight. Du kan du kan prova som den oss människor med de hundar så vi vill jag tror inte vi brukar mer än 3 till 4000 kilo kalori någon av oss som är här uppe och jobbar på en dag. Jag tror att vi får hundar ut med 4 till 6 000 kilokalorier på ett dygn här. Och så kan du prova samling i vekt. En hund väger kanske 22 kilo, 25 kilo och vi väger lite för mycket. Så det blir det var en extrem ämne till att omsätta det de får in till energi och springa. Och de springer och springer av pur glädje. Finally, after 80 kilometers of travel, they arrive at Rostajaure, the first night's place to camp. But there is still a lot that has to be done before they can crawl into their sleeping bags. Today was really great, really exciting. Uh, it's really amusing, the dog's sledge. Just like I expected it to be. Now we're hungry, so we're going to start cooking and uh, put up our tent before it gets dark. Ah, today, yeah, it's fantastic. It was a lot more difficult than I assumed. Um, I thought, you know, we'd, we'd go for probably 50 kilometers <laughs> on a nice flat surface, and but no, it was up and down and trees, and oh, it was fantastic. And the dogs. So now you fed them, and what yeah. you're doing at the moment? Um, we're just going to prepare them some breakfast. You know, preparing their meal took at least 45 minutes. By the time you boiled the water, fetched the water, chopped up, you know, all the sausage meat and then the dried food, and you're like, God, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a big job. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. <laughs> I don't think we'll get the tent uh, ready <laughs> before, before dark. Before dark. <laughs> yeah, before dark yeah. I was about to eat dog food just a while ago because they had dinner before we did. 
<laughs> and and uh, it looked about the same. <laughs> there was two ways, left, left and right. And Masher told us, then when you uh, wanna, wanna go left, you say ha, when right, G. And uh, my dogs uh, were coming the not right way, and I said, ha, and they did it. Really, really went left, so it works. It was amazing. It was a good egg, yeah. yeah. So, the hardest thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that was using a lot of new muscles that I haven't used. My knees and hands holding on so long, and uh, running up the hills after the dogs, you know, with the going uphill, that was hard. But um, that's part of it. It was good.